Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today we are building a really cute little goat farm for the conspiracy theorists that came with the expansion pack Strangerville in The Sims 4 because I just wanted to make a home for some kind of townie and I didn't want to do another family home. I wasn't really you know, looking for a certain sim, but I was looking for someone that everybody knows about. So I figure everyone knows about the conspiracy theorist who lives in Strangerville. He operates the little curio kiosk uh, in the center of town, like across the street from the bar. So I thought that would be a fun idea. Now in my, the save file that I made this build, he is no longer in existence or he has moved. I cannot find him. So I did download a new one <laughs> off of the gallery. And when we get to it, I will show you him and the user who created him on the gallery so if you would like to put him in your game as well you may do so and uh yeah it was just really fun i decided that the best animal for the sim if you were to have a farm would be a goat because they have like those weird bulgy eyes and they're kind of friendly but also kind of not trustworthy they'll still headbutt you no matter what <laughs> at least in the sims so i thought that would be the perfect little companion for him and i'm really on a farm kick right now so i just wanted to do some kind of farm rustic strangerville build for the conspiracy theorist i thought it would be fun so i hope you enjoy it if you like it so far or if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe and also like this video let me know in the comments down below if there's something you'd like to see next i also did put up a poll earlier today uh because i am curious what you guys want to see i have a few selections just take a look at my community tab or if you're already subscribed you probably saw it pop up on your feed but i really am kind of sort of running through all the ideas and I don't know which one you'd rather see so obviously I need to know and that is why I put up a poll <laughs> so you'll see I have pulled out a bunch of stuff from Horse Ranch and also Strangerville the roof is from Werewolves siding is from Horse Ranch and then the columns are from Horse Ranch as well as the fencing these roof pieces up here are from Strangerville I just thought they added a really cool interesting kind of facade and also the um, the little satellite dish because there is a little room upstairs that is locked for everybody except the household where he keeps his little listening station to listen in on bugs that he's planted on the townsfolk of Strangerville to get more information about what exactly is going on here and all the conspiracies and he wants to try to solve the mystery of Strangerville but he also has to fund that somehow other than the curio stand so this goat farm enables him to do that. He has like a little farm section. He has some chickens. He has eggs to sell. He has produce to sell wool from his, I think he has two or three mini sheep and then the rest are goats because I figured having wool and milk would also be good ways to earn some money. And also he can host ranch animal days, which I did test in my play testing to make sure that it worked out. And that way you can have people come and enjoy the goats. And after you're done with Ranch Animal Day, you set up your little selling table and hopefully some people will stick around because they're already here on your lot and they will purchase some of your goods. So I thought that would be fun. He can have Ranch Animal Day. He can have people like take selfies and <laughs> enjoy the farm animals, have a little petting zoo for the kids, that kind of thing. It was a lot of fun. It was very, uh, it was very hectic. Everybody wanted to be in the house. That's when I started locking doors. So <laughs> that is how that worked out over here we're working on the little paddock i was making for the mini goats i pulled out some uh like blanket carpet pieces from the little campers kit and then i threw a bunch of hay pieces on top from horse ranch and just to kind of blend it in and make it look like this was a goat bed or a goat pen i also threw in some of these feeders from horse ranch now because the mini sheep and mini goats are so short they cannot reach those but there's constantly little pieces of prairie grass that falls out and that is what the goats and sheep will eat but they will also just eat from the wild patches of prairie grass that are all around so not a big deal they were perfectly fed and also you bottle feed them and they are perfectly fed i did have to hire a ranch hand there were way too many goats uh, for this poor gentleman to handle all on his own so keep that in mind if you do have this and you plan on getting 10 or more mini goats or sheep you will definitely need a ranch hand or at least more than one sim on this lot to help you with all of that it was it was a lot of fun but you also see i placed a whole bunch of strangerville and base game 
little cacti and debug plants all around the corner and near the shed or the little lean-to where the goats hang out. Uh, that is just the start of the landscaping. I was trying to get a feel for the lot. And then I placed this gate here from Seasons around the fence that is in like the chickens area that also ends up being the garden space. So you can lock it if you want to, prevent people from going in there if you want to, prevent the goats if you want to. I just kept it open all myself because I didn't really care. I just didn't want anyone going into the home and using his his little listening device room because that's a secret room. He likes his home very uh, minimal. Everything is put away. There's not a lot of clutter out. He keeps it very nice and neat because he wants the appearance that he is perfectly normal, um, but everything else is just upstairs. He doesn't have a lot of belongings per se that he covets, but he does really enjoy the knowledge and learning about this mother plant and that is like his passion and his life's dream. So as long as his goats and chickens have everything, he doesn't need much. He's very simplistic. That was where I was going with this home. So there's not a whole lot of clutter. There are some wall decorations. There are some plants all around because I figure he likes plants. But otherwise, it's very simple. It's very neat and clean and easy and low maintenance so he can completely focus on his conspiracy theorist ways. <laughs> Here you'll see I'm finishing up the landscaping around the sheep and goat pen, just throwing in some more tall grasses and some cacti pieces and some of these other big bushy things that I think these ones in particular came from Horse Ranch because I wanted to use the same bushes that came with a pack that I was using. However, they do come in a lot of different packs. Uh, this same exact bush, maybe in like a slightly different color green or a slightly different orientation it's the same mesh so if you don't have horse ranch that bush is probably in cats and dogs or some other packs I know that they came with my wedding stories I believe I saw some and even for rent I'm pretty sure has like the same exact bush it's just like a different kind of shade of green to blend in with the rest of the surroundings so that is good to know now over here we have made a little picnic space so this area is for when he has ranch animal days and he has like a little cookout, everybody has a spot to sit and eat. I also did off camera end up adding a drinks tray as well to one of the tables so that you can put out like lemonade or iced tea. I thought that would be a nice touch. And then we are adorning his front gate here. I did put up some little plaques of chickens, goats, and sheep on each of the four pillars. And then I added this little sign from get to work and I just used the nine key to raise it up ever so slightly so it looks like it's mounted to that sign. Then the season's mailbox out front and I tried to pick a swatch that actually matched with the rest of the home. It's very difficult, but I think that one works nicely. I just like the stone bottom piece. I think that makes a lot of sense and some trash cans out front. Now we're gonna start on the home itself. So we have the door and the windows all from Horse Ranch, including the interior windows and the archway that leads from the kitchen to the very tiny office space is Horse Ranch. So I tried to keep it pretty, not limited pack, because I did use still quite a few packs, but I tried to keep a lot of the same packs in it and I tried to use just more than one item per pack. So I apologize if I did not know or if I did something unknowingly, but I tried really hard to not overuse packs for such a small build because really this is kind of a small build. It isn't that big. Uh, the home itself is pretty small, but the rest of the lot is large. So I did have to fill it up for goats and such. You'll see I just rearranged the stairs and I kind of widened the upper floor so that the stairs would fit in better. I didn't like the way the hallway was looking so that is why I had to kind of maneuver that and obviously I had to use the deletion protection from Better Build By because that prevents all of my roof decorations from disappearing. Having to replace those isn't so bad because they fit in there really nicely but still kind of annoying and it's not fun to have to go back to your inventory and place things that went into your inventory because you didn't have enough space to place them. Here's where I'm finishing up that area for the stairs. And I did make them just ever so slightly wider because I really wanted a little bit more interest up here and I wanted the hallway to feel more concise. It was a little cramped upstairs and I just didn't really like it. So here I am also adding another roof piece on this side to kind of make it match. It's slightly offset of the front one, but I think it still looks nice. And then I'm adding more of these roof spires and like arch pieces. I thought those were so fun. And then here I am rearranging the kitchen one more time. I could not decide where I wanted the kitchen to be in this home. I went back and forth from different sides of the wall, but this is pretty much the final orientation. And then I do draw a wall and I put it next to where this couch is. The couch is base game and the console table is from Horse Ranch. 
This TV here is from Basement Treasures. It actually kind of like flickers and looks kind of old, like it's barely working. So I really liked that touch. Very simple. Also this lamp that, <laughs> that flickers as well. You can change the settings so that it doesn't flicker at all. But I liked the fact that it was kind of a flickery, like stubborn lamp and he just doesn't want to throw it away because it still works, you know, enough for him and that's all that matters. But here's that wall and archway that leads from the kitchen, dining, living space. A very, very, very tight space in here to a very small office in the hallway and then the bathroom. Upstairs is his bedroom and also his listening device room. So that is the entire floor plan for the house. It is very simple. Over here he has this little easy chair for reading his books and then a desk from Horse Ranch as well as a little simple kind of desk chair that's wooden. I just wanted everything to kind of look old and not updated. Just like it's been here forever. He just keeps it neat and organized and that way everything is just where he needs it to be when the time comes but otherwise he's just up in his listening room or he's out patrolling strangerville trying to figure out this mystery or he's taking care of his goats and his chickens and his crops and just trying to keep the infected people out of his property and just hiding away in his home it's like his safe haven it's his safe space because he is a loner that is one of his traits so he likes to just be alone and do his thing but he loves animals as well so he is an animal enthusiast in my save because the one i downloaded i made him an animal enthusiast and he loves his little goats and his chickens he just snuggles with them and cleans them and bottle feeds them and he just loves it so over here is his little conspiracy room i do add a little bookshelf from book nook kit as well as some junk in a box from basement treasures and also some strangerville files and a little filing box and then i use tool mod to move that filing box down and also minimize that stack of papers because i did want it to kind of look like it was thrown in here i didn't want it you know to be hanging out so much that it was causing clipping or anything and then i repeated these same windows from downstairs i kept the upstairs very simple same windows all horse ranch very nice and then this big window here in the front because i thought it made a nice little like light across the room also another wide window back here and that's pretty much it for all of the exterior of the home we will come back to the upstairs and the bedroom finishing decorating later because for now we are going to focus on the outside this is the chicken area. I threw in a bunch of debug and live edit plants as well as these like tall grasses and some bushes. There's also a chicken topiary because why not? I just thought it was fun and he's eccentric enough to get away with it. So I threw that in there. I also threw in some apples and some cherries for him to grow as well as all of these little plants here in the planters that came with werewolves. So I did also make a covered area for them. I just used some pillars and I created a little tiny square room with the square room wall tool and then placed the flooring just above it. Eventually I will get rid of that little square room, but I also add a floor tile here just all around it. So it's just a flat roof and then I added some sprinklers as well to the garden boxes because I figured that he would just want it to be automatically watered. It is the desert after all and he has them covered and automatically watered. They will be fine. Here I am finishing up the placement of all these bushes and then I placed this little tiny plant on the railing of the deck here and I just thought well that's great. I'll just set up a little like planting station a little potting station over here with all of this uh, greenhouse haven stuff so there's a little box for like seeds or plants or other gardening things right here as well as the little fake kind of flower arranging table thing with a bunch of seedlings on it and then some pots with dirt and extra soil and etc the little thing with the watering can and the little metal bucket and then i just decided to go all out with this whole look so the lights hanging up here are from strangerville as well they kind of look like little you know utility lights that you use on a construction site and i thought those were perfect they fit him very nicely as well as a hanging light from horse ranch because that fits really nice on the roof and then i also gave all of the roofing the same tone of the flooring in the home but it's the rafter style from horse ranch that we got you know like for the ceiling tiles i think it looks really nice so i hope that you enjoy that as well now we're going to be painting with a little bit of terrain paint near the chicken coops because i wanted it to look really blended in and then i decided to take this whole backyard and just make it grassy i used this one i really like this texture that came with horse ranch so i just painted the whole backyard with this grassy texture and then just kind of blended in the edges with a little bit of extra terrain paint i just kind of wanted it to look lush like he takes care of it back here he wants his goats to have 
have plenty of space to run around. He wants it to be comfy on their little hooves and he wants their chickens to have plenty of space to peck around and be comfortable and cool. That's why he has the covered space and the sprinklers as well because he wants all of his animals to be able to play in the water and cool off if they get too hot or go to a shady area if they get too hot. And I think he's very considerate of his little creatures. I think he really, really cares for them because he doesn't really like people all that much. So <laughs> he better love some animals then. <laughs> and then here we have more bushes going in up along the fence line. I did just kind of try to blend it in and hide it. Like I didn't want it to look super perfect. I wanted it to look kind of overgrown and just whatever plants were here are just here very low maintenance lots of cacti and little aloe plants this big old cactus i actually end up moving that later on i use it somewhere else but we have this flowering cactus and some rocks going in as well as whatever that other big plant is that looks like a blooming onion from outback i don't know what it is but it looks really fun and i just liked it in this space so that is it for that and adding some terrain paint and some more rocks and then i think we're going to move on to the rest of the land Landscape because we do have the in front of the house space to clutter up with plants as well as the area where people will be eating and dining on their ranch animal days. Also, these little tiny clumps of grass that came with Strangerville I just put on either side of the steps leading up to the porch. They are so nice. They look very unassuming, but they are so nice. They just fit everywhere. You can put them on every single fence post and they just fit. They look perfect for this area so it's a good thing it came with this pack now we'll be cluttering up with more of these plants and more of these tall grasses i kind of just line the whole fence on this side with them because i assume nobody goes in that little space there's really nothing there and i didn't want anyone wandering over there anyway because the fence kind of sort of ends i didn't find a good spot to continue with the fence so i figured just throw some trees and some big bushes in there and that is pretty much it for that area now we are over here where your friends and guests on Ranch Animal Day can dine. I put out two of these grills that came with Horse Ranch. I added one more table and then I threw in these flowers. Some of them came with Base Game. Some of them came with Horse Ranch slash Horse Ranch Debug, but they're pretty much exactly the same. So you will see an assortment of those. And then also these rounded rocks. I really, really love these. I use these all over the place. These are pretty much the inspiration for the pathways that I have leading all throughout this property so there's a path from the front gate over to the area where people will be eating and then there's also a continuation of the path up to where the uh, goat and sheep shed is where everybody can go sit and pet the animals and hang out with them and bottle feed them and clean them however they want to do it and then there's also a path continuing on to the garden space and the chicken coop space so that is what I used all throughout this property and yes some of the rounded pieces meet kind of in the middle and more of a heart shape they're not quite they don't make a perfect circle or a perfect like half circle but I figured hiding them Hiding those little imperfections with these bunches of flowers would be just what we needed. So that is what I did. I just took these flowers and I scattered them all throughout the pathways on all the corners and everywhere that the rocks would meet so that it blended in really, really nicely. And then I went in with this river rock terrain paint and I just completely colored it in. And I know it's very, very bright in comparison to the rest of the property at the moment, but I will go back and kind of feather that with some regular brown dirt and some more horse ranch dirt and just kind of make it blend much nicer. It's really fun to layer your terrain paints I have found in recent years because you can really make any tone or texture that you want if you layer them properly. And I usually go with the lowest opacity of terrain paint first. And then if I want a different pattern on top or a different color on top to kind of layer them, I still stick with the same lowest opacity. And then from there, I can kind of fine tune things and blend them in. I don't really raise up that opacity meter unless I know I'm going in with dirt Then I might do it like two little clicks. But otherwise, I, I just keep it at the very lowest opacity for the train paint because it's much, much easier to layer and blend. You'll also see I added some tire planters from cats and dogs on either side of the fence. And now I am making a cute little circular pond. Just looks like a little pebble, but <laughs> I really like it over here. So I added some rounded rock fencing on either side and then used tool mod to lower that down into the ground ever so slightly. It was just sort of kind of poking out. And then I added some grasses to blend it in a little bit more and more of these pretty flowers 
on either side. My thought is that if the goats or sheep or chickens get hot and they want to just kind of cool off in the water a little bit, it is very low and shallow and they can easily just wade in there and play. Or if the conspiracy theorist is having a rough day and he needs some frolicking time, it is always good to frolic in some water. And yes, I know it's the desert, but you know what? Maybe he made this himself. This is like his homemade water collector. And there's also some tadpoles and some fish in here because I thought it looked really pretty and just some reeds and some tall grasses. Here I am adding the terrain paint for the rest of the area, like where the goat and sheep shed is and some more of these rocks. And then these hay bales you'll see they are the ones you can actually sit on so they operate as seats i figured the guests can sit there while they're observing the goats or talking to them or just chatting amongst themselves and having a grand old time i thought that that made a lot of sense and then just adding some more terrain paint to blend everything together in this space and a lot more seats because i figured you can't have too many seats <laughs> and then more flowers and more tall grasses just kind of thrown in peppered all over the place just to fit nicely and some more of these rock terrain paint to fit under where the tables are because i wanted that to look like a really nice defined space that is just for the patrons and just for those people coming to ranch animal day i don't know if there is a way i thought there was at some point but i thought that for ranch animal day you could like request donations or ask for donations but you might have to have the rancher trait for that or you might have to invite certain people for that and i'm not 100 percent sure so let me know in the comments if you know for sure how you're supposed to get donations because if that's a possibility you could also do that here Here's our conspiracy theorist, though. I got him off the gallery. He's made by Wombologist97, which is a fantastic name for the gallery, I just have to say. Big fan. Big fan of that name. <laughs> and then we are over here placing all of our very many goats and sheep. I just had him come in and place them all because I wanted to see what their mannerisms were like, and I wanted to see how the lot functioned and make sure everything was able to be used properly. I didn't want anyone to have trouble getting around or getting to the food or anything like that. I also had him fill up the feeders after he harvested a little bit of prairie grass. But now we are back in the home. We're just going to do some finishing touches. We are going to add some more windows and also some wallpaper. This wallpaper in the kitchen is from Spa Day. Spa Day is wonderful for this. I just wanted a very simple kind of backdrop. And yes, I know it's kind of fancy compared to the rest of the house because all the rest of the walls in this home, besides the bedroom, are from the basement treasures kit and they are kind of like washed out dated like half half faded all um, halfway down it's very interesting but i wanted it to seem like okay he wanted his kitchen to look nice for when people come over to talk about scheduling their ranch animal day or like a field trip or something this is like his meeting area or like if he does have guests this is where they sit and hang out and talk so he wanted the kitchen area to look nice so i used a lot of horse ranch and base game and also the new coffee pot from uh, cozy bistro kit in that kitchen because i did want a little bit of appliances but no more clutter on the countertops it's very simple just a simple base game sink as well and then over here we have the horse ranch chairs on a base game table and then the rug underneath the table is from laundry day and the rug in the tv area is from horse ranch throwing in some plants from base game and then the painting on the wall with the horses from strangerville the sunflower one is from base game a little cottage living light kind of distressed over the dining room table and i believe i also add a little tiny plant from greenhouse haven on the table as well just repeating the wallpaper into this space as well as the flooring and then over here at the computer desk i add a little rug underneath again from horse ranch just in a different swatch i think i used the red one because i really enjoy that one and some wall mounted lights for this room i didn't mind it being a little darker because i think that the light on the desk itself this little tiny desk light that i think came with city living is perfect anyway and he doesn't really need much light in that space and then we are working in the bathroom the walls are base game the flooring is from growing together that herringbone tile and then here is where i add all of my bathroom clutter stuff because i love it so much we have the soap pump and the toothpaste and toothbrush holder a little mat for in front of the sink in this very tan kind of swirly texture as well as the plunger next to the toilet i do rearrange the toilet and the plunger because i didn't like the 
orientation of that and then there's a little toilet paper roll right on the wall there and I also had to add this little hand towel from growing together because that is essential I need that in all my bathrooms now and then I just kind of scooched the base game shower tub combo back a little bit so it looked like the tile was continuous and a little shower caddy which also came with bathroom clutter stuff I love it I have don't really use that one too often either and I think I should use it more that might become an essential one and then some curtains from growing together also in the bathroom that's pretty much it just adding one more light to this hallway I kept it very very simple then upstairs we have the bedroom I'm just adding this lovely light green wallpaper and then in the hallway we're just creating sort of kind of a landing space in the upper hallway I wanted to get rid of that little tiny square but then all my roof pieces were clipping in and that's just not good so I decided to make it into another plant spot and then some more plants over here as well as some curtains from horse ranch and then another little curtain goes on the second tinier window that one is also from growing together after we add more of these wall lights that are repeated from downstairs because I do like those. I think they're really, really nice. I should have probably changed the hue on them to be more of a, like a whiter light rather than a yellowish light, but you know, you can always do that yourself if you want. I think it actually kind of gives a little bit of an air of antiqueness to this house, so I'm not really too worried about it. Some base game wall hangings and a plant. Then we are into his conspiracy theorist little throne room if you will <laughs> this is his little listening device rooms where he does all of his very important work so i'm placing a bunch of these posters that came with strangerville and then here's that listening device you've already seen adding some of these really cool blinds that came with discovery university they're super ugly which i love they're perfect for this so they don't have to be pretty they just have to block out the sun and he just wants his complete privacy when he's in this room so those shades are perfect also replacing the ceiling light with another one from cottage living and that is it for that room and out here we're going to add some more outdoor lighting just these little ones from horse ranch because i thought they added just enough light out here and one little bench here at the front entryway that's pretty much it after we finish up some more lighting over here near the goat pen and then we're going to jump into some live mode footage so like i said i did a lot of play testing with this so my sim had no problem getting around the entire lot there was nothing that was blocked which is another good thing about not using a lot of clutter and the goats and sheep were very happy they were playing with each other they were frolicking around fainting jumping and <laughs> butting heads i guess you'd say here is just a little clip of him cleaning one of the mini sheep before he decided to shear her so that he could get some wool yeah she wasn't really having it she's very sassy but he he's a good little mini animal owner i think and he had a lot of fun i just love this view of like all the rocks and the mountains and the windmill in the back there's our ranch hand that we hired so that um he wouldn't be completely on the hook for all of the animal care and then over here is our many many chickens just cleaning out the coop and collecting the eggs and making use of all of our time here because we have to take care of our little chickens as well, spreading some food and collecting some eggs. And you'll see that little goat just fainted and rolled back over. <laughs> I love it so much. And here's our little garden space that is all flourishing because it is covered and protected and freshly watered. He's just going to harvest a bunch of those things to sell on his selling table out front here. He also has fresh bottles of milk and some eggs and some wool. He's just living his best life, making as much money as he can on the side so he can pursue all of his Strangerville adventures in his off time. I think that that is a good way to end the video and go just into the view of the full house right here. So thank you so much for joining me here today and I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Take a look at that poll I put up today and let me know what you think I should build next. Also, I will have one or two days where I won't have my computer because it's finally getting its new keyboard installed. So fingers crossed everything goes well with that and I can be back to work very, very shortly. But again, I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun for me. It's up on the gallery now under my ID, Miss Chris Builds, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.